The best thing about Hayflow is that you can customize nearly anything, including fonts, colors, and the appearance of any blog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to match your flow to your brand. My name is Franzi and welcome to Hayflow. When you create a new Hayflow, you will be asked to set some design elements like your fonts and primary colors. You can still edit all design settings after creating your Hayflow. Having a consistent and coherent design is essential for any successful brand as it creates trust with prospects, increases conversion, and strengthens the recognition value of your company. In Hayflow's Design tab, you can change colors, fonts, and many more appearing settings to perfectly match your Hayflow to your brand. You can find the Design tab in the left navigation panel. The first thing you can change here are the main colors of your Hayflow. The primary color will automatically be set as the default color for your main visual elements, such as buttons, pick-to-choice blocks, or block borders. If you're unsure about the right colors, we recommend using the Chrome extension CSS Peeper, which allows you to see fonts, colors, and other design elements on any website. Next up are the text settings. Here you can choose your default fonts, text colors, and the base font size. The primary font should be the most commonly used font for paragraphs and other elements, while the secondary font is mainly used for headlines. Hayflow offers the most popular and commonly used fonts. However, if your brand uses unique typography, you can also upload your own custom font. In the headlines and text tabs, you can fine tune the appearance of your text. Below these options, you'll find a tab for each block where you can select from different presets to further customize your Hayflow. By default, most blocks will appear in your primary color, but you can change this by editing the preset. These settings will affect all blocks of the same type in your Hayflow. If you want to adjust the appearance of individual blocks, head to the Edit tab or check out our dedicated video for block settings. If you want more design settings, you can always switch from Essential to Expert Mode, which you can find in the bottom left corner. In Expert Mode, you can adjust even more settings, like how the block should look like when it's idle, when you're hovering over it, and when it's selected. When Expert Mode is enabled, you'll also see more settings for borders, your header and footer, and screen animations. If you already have a Hayflow that perfectly matches your brand, Go back to the Basics tab where you can import its design settings and save time on your Hayflow setup. Congratulations! Now you know all the design basics to start creating Hayflows that look and feel like your brand. Check out our other tutorials or the Help Center for more information. Happy building and have a great day!